The community is stepping up to help people impacted by flooding in the Santa Maria Valley. News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez explains how folks can get help. Local organizations are coming together to help the victims of the floodwaters and sinkhole in Orchid. Nadine Senna and her family lost their home and belongings in the Union Valley sinkhole. She is now looking for a new safe place to stay. It was just a lot. It was a lot. It was scary. My kids were worried. My kids were screaming. I have a two-year-old, a 17-year-old, and a 12-year-old. And my mom, my sister with special needs, she fell. Edwin Weaver is with the nonprofit Fighting Back Santa Maria Valley. He says the organization has a homeless liaison dedicating to helping those who were displaced by flooding. What they're doing is making sure that the student can attend school as she works with the adults to see if we can help them with their emergency situation. Senna says it has been difficult to find resources. So far, she hasn't been able to get help from FEMA or insurance. The school districts have helped us. It's like our community is helping, you know, all these state funded programs. They're like, oh, we can't do anything yet. You have to wait. But my community. It's been amazing. My, my friends, my close friends. A lot of people are also out of their homes in Guadalupe because of flooding there as well. The Food Bank of Santa Barbara County delivered 3,000 pounds of food to flood victims and crews are prepared to deliver more in the coming days. The Food Bank is aware that serious weather issues cause problems for families ranging from flooding um, people losing everything in their homes. The Salvation Army is also preparing and delivering meals for those impacted by the floods. We are partnered with the Red Cross and we have the opportunity to prepare breakfast, lunch and dinner for these families in need. Senna says she is staying positive as she looks for a new home. A home. It could be empty. We just need somewhere that we can all be together. Locals can find more resources on our mobile app where we have put together a list of contact numbers for shelter, food, and bare necessities. In Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez.